What's up guys, it's I Mad Reactions and today I have a texturing tutorial for you today. Um it is requested by Graphic or Graphic, I don't really know how you say his name, but yeah, he wants to know how um to make cool textures like basic and like complex, like I use a few in my intros, um like grungy ones, but most of the time I find myself using reflective ones. So yeah, let's go into it. So um to make my materials, um Basically, um, I like my grungy ones. Um, you have to search on Google a lot. Um, you just find them as as you go along. But yeah, so some of these pictures you might not have. Um, just Google like grunge textures or whatever, and you come up something similar. So I'll just start with like um, a basic um, reflective material. So I'll set say I want a nice red material. I won't set it to red because that's going to look too cheap. So if we just go say a bit darker like there that looks a bit nicer and then you want to check luminance and put the brightness down to about 36 percent that's what I usually use on mine and just change the color again to a bit of a darker red not just red and check reflection and texture and then select Fresnel and then you see that looks okay but what you want to do is turn each brightness down to about 7 so the mix strength and the brightness and that gives it a nice reflection there and that's what I usually uh, use and if you think it doesn't look nice you can always turn the luminance color a bit brighter yeah that's what I usually use and you can turn specular off if you want um, it sometimes looks a bit nicer it's up to you to be honest and yeah and if we just drag this on you'll probably see some nice reflection so you can see the reflection already and we got like this nice sort of candy red um, not like a um, bright sort of cheap red yeah, so as you can see already yeah, it's nice and glossy here already so yeah um, you can do that with pretty much any color it's just all about getting the right sort of tone but yeah um, that's the basic ones done and also another tip if you're gonna make a material pack for your, um, which you're giving out Another thing you can do is if you click on the sphere here, you notice that um, other people that have like, um, like Acus HD for example, he has a little knot. To do that, if you right click the sphere and you come up all these different options, here you can change it to different things. Say you're making a stone texture, this might look suitable for it. Or in this case, because it's a um, glossy one, I'd probably select double torus because it looks like that. So yeah, that's just a tip for you guys there if you want to know that. So yeah, um, moving on, um, we'll make a nice grunge material now. <coughs> so grunge materials, um, they're not that hard to make, just people sometimes struggle with making them because they don't really know how to, to be honest. So yeah, so you want to open up your material tab. And we'll just um, select the color of our stone, so maybe it's sort of like not nice dark grey. And then for a texture, if you just browse, so if you search some images, um, you should usually get something quite good. So let me just try and find something I have here. Yeah, I have this this grunge um, texture. I'll maybe put a link in the description if I can find it. But yeah, what you want to do is if you want to get um like say okay say I want to get this blue yeah, and I got the blue here. Um, put the mix strength down to about say forty one, and you can see that now it's blue, and it's sort of blue stone and then um hang on I'll be right back yeah sorry about that um just need to get something so yeah if we put the mix strength down you can see that um the grunge is still coming through but it's a nice blue so yeah it's personally it's down to you to be honest um what you like there but I'm just gonna use a different one here um I have a pre made one here I'll, tr I'll put a link to that one this one here in the description actually because this one's a bit nicer and then if we just tick um, reflection again, go to Fresnel, and then here because this is a stone texture, we don't want too much reflection, but we don't want no reflection. So put it down to about three and five. That will probably look okay. And turn off specular. Now this is where um, the real thing comes in. What well, um, about making a grunge texture? So if you just go back to your color and you find the texture, click little um, prick, sorry, click the little arrow and do. Um, copy channel and if we go to bump check it and then click the little arrow and do paste channel 
you'll see, if we just put it up to 100 so you can see it, you'll see now that it's got like a sort of stone texture there but you don't want to put it up to 100 because it starts to look kind of bad and it doesn't look very professional so some, sometimes if you put it in minus as well it looks quite good it's like that it looks okay because it's going in but I personally I like putting up to about 15 or sometimes I use it on like minus 30 around there so yeah that's down to personal preference as well now if we just check displacement now which is a pretty obvious one go to texture and then paste channel and now here you can make all sorts of things like if we put it down to minus 100 you see we get that put it all the way up to 100 you see we end up getting that so this is down to personal preference but like I've said before because you don't want to get it like like that because on your material it will look um, pretty stupid so you want to get the right sort of balance so depending on um, what you have the displacement will be different so yeah well if you don't want to use that if you go to texture you can select noise and that gives um, a sort of nice effect too but um, if you only put that up to about sort of I would say 20 max so, you know you can go over 20 but it's up to you yeah to be honest yeah and you can change the height here and that will just add more bumps to it for example like that if I change the height you'll see a little difference honestly you'd have to like um, be a cinema 4d pro like to notice the difference pretty much yeah so now if we drag this on um, we'll come across a problem that a lot of people do if we render this out now so you can see now we have our texture but you don't really have like the sort of grungy look on it if you know what I mean <coughs> like we have the look of it but we don't have the sort of like sticking out like the stone effect if I just zoom in a bit more so you can see 